about how to get that shit and write it and make it still like to where people can listen to it and digest it. So mm. um that that's kind of what happened. You just hear me literally maturing over records over time. You know what I mean? Like from 18 mm. years old to now, 17 years old to now, that's really really what every album is. I'm literally just maturing over wax. Mm. And Wait, how old are you right now? Myself. Uh, I just turned 23 in January. God oh, damn. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah I thought. Yeah. I, 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 wait, Luke, you, you got good news. Like even way more impressive now. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Right. Yeah. Yo, to be 23 again and to wake up and my knees not be on fire, son. Sure. Yo, <laughs> I be yo, <laughs> son. 20, I thought you was older than that. You could be what? my son. I'm 50. Right. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. That's wild. That is wild, yo. I, I but thought see, like, I, I didn't yeah, mean that insultingly looks, like I knew your mom or anything. I just meant age-wise. <laughs> only age-wise, okay? <laughs> 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 shit right there. He's like, I think he's making, be making mom jokes and I'm shit. No, saying, no, yeah. no. You are now listening to the Abyss Podcast with Paul the White Monk, Primo Jab, and Luke Cage. Hip-hop. On a higher form, going further down pause, further down pause, further down pause. Tap in. Yeah, okay, now we can talk. Jaquin, you got, you got you doing, any kids? Bro? I'm good, man. You got any kids, man? Nah, nah, no kids, bro. Not yet. I'll be chilling, son. Good man, word. <laughs> Carl don't got no kids either. I don't have no hey, kids yo. either. Trust me, it's all right. Hey, yo, I got one. The, I got one. Kid, yeah. Hey, yo, and I'm happy for there. both of y'all that do. He's my favorite little STD. But I don't feel bad because <laughs> it ain't like the world is like not populated. Hey yo, yeah. man. Um, to the listeners out there, remember, girls can't get pregnant by the mouth. Know what I mean? <laughs> Big up. That's my that's my all time favorite advice. <laughs> We start on bullshit. Because, I know. I normally we end on that. We're starting on that. We, we easy have, right in with the bullshit. Let's so, go. So indeed. So indeed. I have uh, different questions for this brother right here because of, yeah, yeah. Oh, of, the, of the culture that he represents and the, and the culture, <clears throat> the stuff that he likes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's great. But before we st- kick it off, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Abyss Podcast. Carl, that's a dope big ghost hood you got there, brother. That's right. Fire. Fire. That's right. Boom, 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 boom. Got to wrap the Primo dope merch. Definitely. What you got on there, Primo Jack? Oh man, I'm repping for the uh, AEBL, the Hooping Oops. League, Summer oh, yeah, Hoop yeah, yeah. League in Atlanta. Yeah, it's about yep. to be that time. Our pro am, you know, hey, yo, boom, coming I up. Been in that Shout joint. out my brother Ja, you know, eleven yeah. years strong. This the ten year anniversary shirt. Wow. Well, well, shit, we should pull up today. Yeah. I'm saying I could have been Absolutely. in that joint at all times. Got to pull up. Yeah. Oh, shout out to my homie Jordan. He won that joint last year with Joe Johnson's team. Oh, he was on that. Yo, that that yeah. game was great. That, that game shit was, was great. amazing. Fun yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. we shot the video for uh, Sauce Boss up there at that. I remember that. Really? I saw it. Yeah. 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 You were in the bleachers. Yeah. Yep, we were in the bleachers up, up there. That's what's up. And it's yes, funny sir. that we're talking about basketball right now. We had a dude that actually played basketball at a, a high level because <laughs> I'm in the rec league. That's what's up. <laughs> we got my man. We got my man, Ja King the Divine on the joint, yo. That's right. What's, Jeez, up, bro. what's peace, up, man? Peace, peace. How y'all doing? Nah, we, doing I'm tired, well, brother. Man. Doing well. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. Yeah. Yeah, yo, yeah, what, what too, you got there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, I mean, we working, we here, we living, we doing good, man. It's uh, great. I love to talk to brothers with knowledge of self, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, from their, their name to your record company, you all, you always, you got it out there. You got it out there. That, yeah, you definitely got knowledge of self, my dude. But how, are how, 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 how are you? How are you? How are things up there? Um, shit, New York is a little crazy right now because that California fire, so the mm-hmm. fucking debris is uh kind of blew over New York, so oh, we yeah. got some of the worst uh air pop breathing uh, <laughs> can, right right now. It was kind of nasty, it, and literally oh, yeah. it was orange outside today. Yeah, really? that shit was crazy. It was literally orange outside, mm-hmm. and all you seen was smoke and mist. So that shit was Dang, crazy. Yo. It's like God it, wants yeah. you guys to be From in masks Canada? or something. Canada is Canada, not Canada. Canada. Yeah, My yeah, 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 Canada. Yeah, Canada. Canada. Well, 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 that's that's weird. That's some crazy shit. You got wildfires yeah. and drill rappers all over, yo. <laughs> right, <laughs> what, what, right, right. Yeah. Exactly. What is what is worse? Uh, I, I, can't, I ain't gonna tell you, ask you that. I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell you answer that. I take the wildfires. <laughs> okay, New York is flooded wow. with the same yo, drill the rapper. Same. 
fucking yeah. song, boy. Oh my god, mm. the mm. same mm. song. And, mm. and you and you were here mm. as a, a a kind of like Nas J Cole mm-hmm. in the bit abyss. You know what I'm saying? I see that? How is it? How yeah? How is how is that for you? <laughs> Damn, yo. Like yeah, um, it's like you are anomaly right now because you a relatively young dude. You definitely mm-hmm. ain't forty. You know what I'm saying? Word. Right. Um. Yeah, so. Nah, I mean, it'd be different, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of my peers are starting to grow up now, so they look at what I'm doing as kind of cool now, you know what I'm saying? Everybody kind of, because, you know, it's cool to be eclectic and different, so now yeah. niggas kind of want to do something different, but for the most part, I'm still looked at as, you know, the nigga that does what he does, and some people don't even believe I'm from where I'm from, like, most niggas don't <laughs> believe I'm from Brooklyn, because I don't do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Yeah, come on. Yeah. yeah. It's like I that. Could, I mean, I can see I that. Could, I can see you being from Brooklyn, though. I mean, just for for the fact that, I mean, you 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 remind me of kind of like an older Brooklyn, you know what I mean, or an older era of exactly. Brooklyn, a, a little throwback Definitely. era of Brooklyn. I mean, you definitely lyrical. Uh, who comes to mind would definitely be like, you know, Black Moon type influence. Yeah, I mean, I you know say that. that. It's, the Skelter, it, all those yeah, really that whole me. boot yep. camp. Boot camp, boot camp, yeah, yeah. But I see, yeah. I see more of a, a crossover potential than than you would, the boot camp click click ever did. You know what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I, I think what yeah, it you, is, I gotta, I seen, I've heard a lot of eras of hip hop because I had grandparents, I had you know my dad, folks, and then I had you know people who was kind of younger than me playing certain things, so I, I was able to hear. A lot of different things. So if I'm with my grandfather, we knocking Spoonie G, Eric B and Rock yeah, King. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Tim Dog, all of that shit. And then I'll go to, you know, with my dad crib and he over there, poor righteous teachers, leaders of the mm-hmm. new school, yep. this and that. So I was able to get some of that and then go to my aunt house. It's Hove, it's the locks, it's Beanie mm-hmm. Siegel. So I was able to kind of get a little bit of everything type That's shit. That's nice. Dope. That's nice. Dope. Yeah. Dope. What are you doing, JC? Forgive me. Uh, my daughter's been mm. in the hospital all day. Uh, she's aggravated. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. a G. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Well, well, that's why I had the whole kids thing right there. She's oh. taking my Chick-fil-A lemonade right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and man. drinking it. I'll kill for that's that right. lemonade. That <laughs> lemonade is good. I got two of them. And one's not for her. Two is for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Two indeed. absolutely. Now, now, totally but, right. I'm gonna, two indeed. So I'm going to the, the next chamber. Like, okay, the Asian influence in hip hop has been around for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we were watching Kung Fu flicks before we knew what Wu Tang was. Wu Tang right. came around and it brought that into it. But now it's like Last Dragon, 2000. Baby. Yeah, mm-hmm. There you go. Boom. You had Drunken Master and all that. Uh, oh my God. Iron Monkey and all them shits mm-hmm. back then. But nowadays, even more so, kids are into the anime. You know what I'm saying? Right. You see them walk, walking around with Hidden Leaf Village and Kenobi Village uh, <laughs> name, t- uh, name tags. I'm like, yo, that's. That's bugged out. And I look at him, I'd be like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, and they'd be like, oh, shit, you? Like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, so boom. Like, how do you feel about this assurgence of Asian culture and just the black community, period? Um, I, I think it's dope, man. And and honestly, too, I feel like um, it's a lot that we could learn from them as far uh-huh. as, like, you know, just – the morals and the, and how they go discipline. about family and discipline mm-hmm. that you know our culture could take after and learn you know what I mean and and that's really why I like their culture the anime and shit is fire and you know all of the art shit is it's top tier we know that they are artisans the motherfuckers is designers they they are all of that but it's really for me is it's the principles that I love about their culture so yeah and really? if I if I can jump into that real quick, you kind mm-hmm. of broadbanded it a little bit with Asian culture, but that's really more specific Japanese culture. Japanese, and, right, right, and, right, and right, absolutely. There's a very specific reason for, I mean, I think as a culture, they've always been very disciplined and very unit oriented right. and things like that. But when you go through something like, you know, having two bombs dropped on you, you know um, what I mean? and, and surviving through that and rebuilding right. through that. Um, it's, it's really, it humbled them as a nation, I think, but it also right. really kind of gave them a really new creative spurt from that pain and that hurt. Right. Um, and, and I, I, I can only assimilate 
But I think black culture really kind of feeds into knowing yes. what that pain and hurt feels like and how that's expressed in art. Yes. And that's, mm. that's and I, why I think there's such a deep connection there. I, and I absolutely agree. Wow. Bro. It's oh, like, oh, shit. Yeah, Let's go. absolutely. And uh, you broke that down beautifully, bro, because, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, just the, they, their appreciation for things, bro, is, is, is just different. You know what I mean? And I love how they kept that but then they code like they didn't let that die. I feel like a lot of black culture, we let our appreciation for creating things kind of like die and not, you know, keep tradition going. And the fact that they I, were I, able yeah. to keep tradition and, yes. and make it rich over time is, is beautiful. And, you know, everybody can learn something from that because now they're about to be the world power. And, you know, they're trying to change that currency up. So, oh, yeah, I Japan? Mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Japan also hasn't had white culture trying to stomp that out too. Right, that's, Western culture. Oh, I got it. Oh man. I, I, yeah. Okay. I'm on one today. I'm sorry. I'm I'm on one today. Oh, Carl. Yeah. yeah. But I, I got feelings. So let's they, go. They had, a, they had a place. Absolutely not. They had a place to heal. You know what I'm saying? We just mm. don't know what a what a what a f. Put your ear my phone. What a f was from a lot of us. We haven't researched Honey. it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Honey. it's like we they had a place to heal. Uh, us, I think that some of our morals and culture have been lost forever. So, like, yeah. we don't really know the morals and cultures. We don't. We even look at, as a lot of us are Christians, we even look at like our, our right. original religion is like we look at it as, as voodoo is bad. As voodoo is like, bad. Like, oh my god, it's witchcraft. Like, mm. oh my god, and really, that's our culture. Some of the e-fi, all that crazy stuff. That exactly. I, I'm calling crazy right now. Like, yeah, yeah. But I mean. Koreans and black people, we both like fried chicken and watermelon. So boom. Exactly. <laughs> a- a- Asians and black people. Oh man, my mom. I'm, I'm glad hey, it blocked hey, your on, screen on, out on, there. On, you on. you deserve yeah, that. See, that's because he was talking some shit. Like he went off on a tangent <laughs> at the end. And, Answer your and mom's I get call to, real I get quick. to hop right back in on that. Yeah, man. Hey, Mrs. Lukey Cage. Yeah, hey, yo, I'll man. correct you. Yo, 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 man, check it no, out. No, 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 man. Hold on, bro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, man. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Lukey. I'm saying this. Everybody's calling me to make sure my daughter hasn't died. <laughs> so I put oh. that, I put, I put that short. I'm in the emergency room with my daughter. So everybody's yeah. calling me like my daughter's dead. I, yeah. I, I, I'll just jump back in. My bad. Yo, yo, the baby is not dead. Everybody, she's not dead. Say hi, Carl. Hi. Hi, hi. hi Jackie. Say hi, Jackie. What's up? Hi, Say hi, Jackie. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, 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 we're going to get you on some uh, uh, Jack King later. We're going to like, yeah, yeah, night, night time. Hopefully it won't turn you up. We get you on some Jack King. So, <laughs> so Primo Jab had something before we got paused real quick. So oh, hit it. Pause. Pause. Wait. Go ahead. So go ahead saying, stay in, stay in, yeah, I, I mean, to your point that some of our, our moral, some of our, dis, our, our history is lost I mean, you, Luki, first of all, you made a great point that always needs to be brought up. It's like there is no um, black Americans history begins in America. All right. We can trace our people back to somewhere in America and they yes. can trace their people back to somewhere in America. That's it. So we do have something. But unfortunately, we also have this longing for wanting more, wanting to have that further extension to what we were before that connection that connection exactly what i say is the truth is is that we have to accept who we are and what we are at at this moment Mm. the argument i was getting at was as far as a country like japan that Mm -hmm. is probably the oldest country probably second or third oldest countries on the face of the earth that has continuously been operating the way it has been it's built on such a foundation of behaviors in society and and a strength of racial history. And when I say racial, I don't mean like racism. I mean, but it's a term that relates to your your previous experiences of your people have right. ingrained in your people a certain tenacity. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, we have that. We definitely have that. And it's been and by that, I mean, black Americans have been proven that we are able to handle adversity right. and still prosper in spite of facts. The 
the the thing that's unfortunate right now is that there are so many people that are choosing to ignore that exactly and it's choosing to exactly. ignore the fact or you know not even neglect the, right. the strength they have in themselves is a better way to say it mm-hmm. and they're looking elsewhere for what we already have in us long exactly. story short that's that's why I say like I mean I, back to Carl's point yes I agree with you about that connection to uh that was some dope uh, people too, yeah man. that was that was great Carl well, but yeah, yeah. To, to what you say Luke it, it, it's bigger than chicken and watermelon shout out watermelon you know that you know the history right. of watermelon hey, right who doesn't I mean, like chicken and watermelon, though? Dave who Chappelle doesn't like the best? He's like, everybody I mean, loves chicken and everybody watermelon. Everybody does, right? I'll, but t- you, I'll take you to Fayetteville, Georgia right now, and you're going to have some people that don't like chicken and watermelon. But that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. Some people like him, some people don't. But you know, that's that's a part of this whole game. That's this trick knowledge that exists out here. The reason well, that they, they've created this stereotype, and I say they because this is the powers that be, the man yes. that we're talking about right now in broadest terms. The plan was created back in the 1900s, early 1900s. 19, when, like, my, yep. You know what I'm thank you, Jack yep. When yep. when black Jackie, people no. in the South were sharecropping, or not even sharecropping, but were out under sharecropping and had their mm-hmm. own land. And one of the cash crops of that time was watermelon. Black people were making money hand over fist yeah. off mm-hmm. of watermelon. So it became uh spread around as some sort of, you know, insult derogatory to like it. term. Yeah, yeah. yeah derogatory mm-hmm. term. Thank you, and Carl. See Carl mm-hmm. coming. They, they straight up destroyed so or just get... stole the crops. our businesses. Yep. Like in the, yep. uh, in the early 1900s, 1910s, when we was thriving on a business and economic that's level, right. they that's straight right. up said, we're either going to burn this shit or we're going to take it. And that's exactly what they did. Oh, they, 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 yeah, they did. All that. Yeah. All that post reconstruction era, man. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. But and yeah, I mean. I, I was going to say that's, you know, just to, to bring it back to knowledge of self. I think that's. Band-Aids. That's the, I know. Mm-hmm. I know. That's why it's important, you know, that that there is that movement with knowledge of self and and right. you know i'm i'm trying to like i said to you know you guys while we were um on our little break um mm-hmm. you know i'm really tapped in with sunez and i'm trying to learn more about it because i think you know as people become more self-aware and have mm-hmm. that knowledge of self mm-hmm. you can you can get to that connection easier that's a fact that's so a fact indeed. but the, the thing is to it people got to you have to want to do that. And that's the thing that Correct. we got to get back to is having people actually that's wanting it. to do that and not taking notes from these pseudo ass life gurus and all these people mm. who think, who think telling you something when yep. they're not, you got to really tap in it and go find who you are. But that's a Absolutely whole, right. you know, it's a whole see, thing. at least you recognize that already, man. And that's, that's mm-hmm. the, the first part of it. Yeah. Number one, the first part is being willing to seek it. Right. And then when you're willing to seek it, you still or to seek it. You have to have that discernment and you have to have that patience in yourself to understand everybody that you bumping into ain't on that shit. You know what I mean? Some people, some people trying to feed you trick knowledge. You know what I mean? Always. Exactly. Um, well, and you got you got to yeah. know the difference and 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 that takes building yourself also you got to you got to mm-hmm. you know it's a two step process man you have to see right. and you have to be ready when it comes to you also yep, I think absolutely. one of the best things about you 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 yourself as the, your person and um I, for lack of better words the character you made is you ain't lame see a lot of right, people yeah. is like like That's uh, clear. spreading <laughs> the message that you have to spread or the message that but like the conversation we have right now, that wasn't lame. You right. you go to somebody else and we have to we have a conversation. Sometimes it's off putting by the way right. they, they say stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think you have a cool way of actually um saying the stuff. Uh there right. is a, a slight change from paint chips to black sun zoo, correct? Where yeah, you like yeah. you kind of switched, you know what I'm saying? Kind of yeah. switched to the more of the martial arts. Um explain explain that change or why why you went from that. I'm saying um, why you went from. Honestly, it it, it just beca- I became better at articulating a lot of things I was into. See, mm-hmm. the thing is too. Sometimes, like I could be into so many different things, but um, it took time and, and like growth to figure out how to get that shit and write it and make it still like to where people could listen to it and digest it. So mm-hmm. um, 
that that's kind of what happened. You just hear me literally maturing over records over time. You know what I mean? Like from 18 mm-hmm. years old to now, 17 years old to now, that's really really what every album is. I'm literally just maturing over wax. Mm-hmm. And Wait, I'm how old are you right now? Myself. Uh, I just turned 23 in January. God, the fuck out of here. Goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah I thought. Yeah. I, 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 wait, Luke, you, you got good news. Like even way more impressive now. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Yo, to be 23 again and to wake up and my knees not be on fire, son. Sure. Yo, <laughs> I'd be <laughs> old, son. Twenty. I thought you was older than that. You could be Word. my son. I'm 50. Right. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Man. wow. That's wild. That is wild, yo. I, I but thought see, was like, I, I didn't yeah, mean that insultingly like I knew your mom or anything. I just meant age-wise. <laughs> only age-wise, okay? Idiot shit right there. He's like, be I did making, be, making, be making mom jokes and I'm shit. No, saying, no, yeah. no. But, hey, yo, yeah. straight up, though. Hey, Lukey, this is exactly what you were talking about, about um, there's going to be a boom of this new generation of the younger Absolutely. generation who's really embracing uh, a denser, deeper doper sound. You, you heard up, what he you said? I mean? You heard what he, he already said? I think yeah. he's one of the uh, few guys who actually caught on to the wave. Oh, I said caught on to the wave. I'm going to kill myself. Anyway, who yeah, uh, I know actually you didn't caught on that. to it. Yeah, but um, before it was cool. Because uh-huh. right now it's being cool. Like, oh, I like my commie. I like this. Exactly. It wasn't just, it was like, it was like, I exactly. like Earl. I like Earl. Earl was the dude that was different because they didn't know nothing else. I think exactly. you actually genuinely Got into this. Uh, okay, check it out. I forgot. Mm-hmm. How did you get um, your name? It's, it's derived from like five percent culture, correct? Of is course. It, of course. So yeah. yeah. So my you know? my dad my dad was a five percenter when he was in the military and shit. Mm-hmm. So um, when my when him and my mom had me in the military, Ja King was actually my was going to be my first name, mm-hmm. but then my mom told the nigga like. He will never get a job. <laughs> yeah, she told him that nigga will never get a job, and that makes no sense. She supported him, but she was like, "We can't do that to him like that." So that's what happened with that. I'm just telling you, I would have hired a Jai King, and I'd put it on a name tag in a second. So <laughs> hey, yo, yo, that's, that's true, probably here, here, here in Atlanta. This is the state of Atlanta, though, and not the, right. the not the city. Not, Atlanta, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where, where? here, yeah. yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna find Carl in Fayetteville. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't work in favor. Well, good. So, you uh, boom. Mom's like, nah. Dad was like, yeah. yeah. But he was like, ah, yeah. Yeah. So, they just made it the middle name. And, um, mm-hmm. okay. you know, when I got older, you know, I started mm-hmm. making music. I had all these different monikers or whatever. But I had watched an interview mm-hmm. with Kendrick Lamar. And, you know, he sat down. And he was like, when he really started taking music serious and putting himself in his music he felt like he had to use his real name and i got inspired by that and mm-hmm. that's cool i like that yeah mm-hmm. yeah i thought to look like she's from the south because she's born in mm-hmm. yeah. so indeed so boom so you got your name divided from five percent because your dad's a five percent and then yep. you um you got your uh, record company as well uh yeah the seven in it mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? yeah Whatever. and uh Started the L- LLC Divine back in like 2018, mm-hmm. 2019, and when I was in college. Mm-hmm. Goodness. Dang. And like whenever you was so you're uh, smart you about open. business like early. But you know, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Because he's up. only 23. He was born last <laughs> week, yo. Well, I'm 50. I've never done an LLC. Son, I've been, I've been procrastinating school. on my LLC. So that's the paper yeah, that's super school. impressive. Application open right now on my laptop. Word. When you graduated Playing around. When I was born, I graduated high school. Wow, <laughs> yo. 2000. Yeah. 2000, when, yep. when cash money was taken over for the 99 exactly. 2000. <laughs> yeah. Word, exactly. word, word. That's up, some wild shit. That's some wild shit. But boom, you got the LLC. You got four. Mm. No, you got, oh, you got three artists on there. KJ, who's on all on pay tips. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Yeah, Yavi Darko. Yeah, Javi, Javi, Javi. Javi. Yep. Yeah, it's only them two as of now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm. One more. And so, where you meet these guys at? Do these guys, just guys that uh, you have uh, known all your life, or are they from Brooklyn too? So not. Nah, so when I moved from Brooklyn to to go to community college out here, um, mm-hmm. I met Javi at the community college. He was actually in the music program, and um, a lot of people would say like, yo, it's somebody else who kind of raps similar to you. Y'all, y'all should link up. So I mm. kept hearing that. I'm like, yo, nobody rapping. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like <laughs> feeling my shit. 
So then one day, um, me and him had the same class. This was like within the first week. So we found out we had the same class. And I'm walking with my little group or whatever people. He walking with his. And it's like a group of niggas in the hallway. And he's like, yo, you Ja? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you have? He's like, yeah. He's like, yo, so rap. I'm like, all right. I <laughs> so rap, da, 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 da. Right. Mm. Some real wild style movie shit back yeah, in the day. Exactly. Like, <laughs> yo. So he's like, so rap. And I'm like, so I do. I go my shit. Everybody, oh, oh. Then this nigga raps. And then when he raps, see, at the time, Hav was already nice with punchlines and mm. knowing how to, like, that crowd control shit. Me, I'm still rhyming Just like rapping, nah. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm still rhyming like the stream of thought shit. So it's fire, so he's but... He's trying it's, to battle you. He's trying to battle right, you like this. Right, right, right. But I'm writing on some stream of thought shit, so it, it's fire, but not everybody catches it. So when he does his shit, everybody go crazy. And that was like the first time I really got my ass kicked. And I'm like, wow. You know what I mean? And, and we became friends after that. that, though. That's yeah, correct, though. I probably, pun- probably punched him, man. You know, See? No, no, and, no, and, yeah, and then you'd lose an rap, opportunity you know, to build. Man, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but now, yeah. but now, like, straight up, I, I, learned, I learned a lot from him and, and vice versa. He learned a lot from me and then you know, we just got nice together, but I definitely was mad after that. I went home, I was like, fuck him, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, but, real um, shit. Yeah. Did y'all yeah. have another battle? I mean, I feel like now every time me and this nigga get together, we somewhere, that's what it is. Just 30 <laughs> minutes to an hour, we just da 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 all day, you know what I mean? And and that's how we, you know, we do our shit. Steel sharp and steel. Okay. As, as dope, man, but I still probably would have punched him in front of wow. everybody, yo. Yeah, got the upper, upper hand. Yesterday, I was at the basketball court. You all right, mommy? I was at the basketball court, and this dude's big dude, primo jab size. He was showing the primo jab. He had NFL tattoo on his neck. So I knew wow. he sucked. I knew he sucked. So, son, <laughs> so um, son, I'm, he scored like two baskets. Then he said I pushed him in the back, which I fouled a lot. I didn't foul this dude. But the long story short, we got in the argument. Uh, I came down, crossed him up, missed the layup because the rim is bent. So I used the backboard. <laughs> and so then he hit me in the back of the head and didn't want to wow. get me involved. So I said, I'm going, I'm out. And so he got mad at me for trying to leave. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I was like, yo, I'm about to punch him in his fucking face. So I got to <laughs> go home. So if I would have punched him in the face or shot the nigga, I wouldn't have been able to take my baby to the hospital today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's the moral, I was 20. That's they, decision no. making. Nah, man. I was 23 in the college hallway. I would have definitely punched the man in the face. <laughs> yeah, I'm a skinny nigga too. You know what I'm saying? Word. I'm really gotten, yeah, I probably would have got my ass kicked. just let it fly, right? Just because, because of the, the the general purpose, the principle. <laughs> the principle, yeah. Man, yeah. You, ba- you told me to rap and you battling <coughs> and these niggas Yo. just cheering? I gotta whoop his no, ass. That, that is kind of uh, how, uh, how he walked up on you and said, Yo, Yo yeah, rap. rap. Yo, yeah. just rap. Like, taking know, the back. I kind of picture sure. that like, like, the... some, like some samurai yeah. shit too. Like, just, it really was. you know, that to Absolutely. you know just rap that's what it was it was a real like and it was crazy because it was like everybody was like wow son like this doesn't happen no more i was like yeah, yeah, yeah exactly doesn't. you know so it was dope at the same time it was like an energy that we don't really my era don't really get the feel that y'all was able to enjoy you know what i mean yeah so yeah indeed. so indeed but as long as you keep it going with what you're doing right now, which you ain't going to stop. I mean, this is you. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'd be different if we heard something else. If we heard you do trap music or drill music four mm-hmm. years ago, and you probably just go back to it. But this is... It's swapped, right? This yeah, is, don't, yeah, don't this is definitely Ja King that we're listening to. It's not like he's been doing... Well, I haven't heard anything else, you know what I'm saying, other than what you're doing right now. Nah, yeah, this has been it. It's just been different versions of it like maybe i was on some lo-fi jay dillard shit and then i mm. went to a phase when i'm on primo shit and and then now i'm in a phase where i'm on like experimental jazz fusion boom bap and you know real orchestrated music shit so it's always been there just in different ways you know what i mean yeah. different ways yeah, yeah. But you're not gonna make no fly guy junior shit no <laughs> no nah, nah, no fly guy junior shit though so let's go have that shit <laughs> So you mentioned the Black Sun Zoo, but that's kind mm-hmm. of an alter ego to Dr. Wayne, right? Yes. So yeah, yeah. talk mm-hmm. about talk about the dichotomy of the two and and what that represents. He said dichotomy. Big up, Carl. Um. So Black Sun Zoo. Uh, that's the that, wild that, side, that, right? Right. That's like the wild side. That's like um. 
the the samurai from delusions i've you know had the hero complex thing kind of mm-hmm. loses that and now he just becomes like really raw and emotional and and out there you know how he says things and, and go about writing and dr wayne is kind of like the left brain where he's still real logical he's still real scientific he's you know what i mean he's a strategic. deep thinker deep writer strategic and he um you know he says things with a lot of thought and a lot of depth you know some mm-hmm. people catch it some people don't and that's how i broke those two up that's dope mm-hmm. of course what it is yeah as a as a, uh, as a great conceptual thing mm-hmm. for an album yo you know what i'm saying so you can just go in with it well and from a yeah. writing standpoint it's got to make it really interesting too because then it allows you to write from two completely different perspectives mm-hmm. whether they're two exactly. sides of your personality or not it still kind of allows <clears throat> you to say okay this is coming from this side right Right. And and that's why I loved it because that's how it feels. Like sometimes I write rhymes that's super in your face and emotional and it's like, well, that's for that person. Like these people are going to love that. And I might write some shit while I'm in a J electronica mood. I'm in a cool Keith mood. I just want to say something how yeah, I want to say God. it. I don't give a fuck how anybody feel or how anybody going to understand it. It's just, you know, it's, it's ambiguous. It's for you to, you know, take it in how you want to take it in. And that's, yeah. That's Yo, dope. who, you you just mentioned uh, J Elect and Cool Keep. I mean, again, mm. you know, number one, finding out that you're only 23 and that you you have this this level of uh, intention uh, when it comes to this your craft, man. It, you know it it makes me it makes me feel proud for the future of this this yes. boom bap absolutely or this this underground. And I know we got some good powerful people coming up, mm-hmm. but I say all that to say who who do you consider? your uh your influences since you since you just said you know you you got a mm-hmm. bag when you might want jay elect or keep cool keep i mean mm-hmm. those are two names that you don't hear often together not so, often enough i mean you, yeah i mean you you definitely have a deep library so i'm i mean give me yes. give me your top five man like who um, who would it be uh you know what i'm saying of course nazir um black thought Okay. Uh, yep. Cool G rap. Oh wow. Okay. Nice. Um, I love Doom for the creativity and the boldness. And um, oh man, I'm I'm with that. Here we go. This is the toughest part. Number five. Yeah. Number five is always the toughest because you're leaving people out. It's all good. Yeah, bro. But it's something like you know. Inspector Deck, Jizza, Guru, something like that, bro. I'm like, glad you mentioned Guru too, because I honestly, right. when I listened to you, I, I there were certain people I could I could say, you know, I think he's definitely influenced by Guru. I think, you know, yes. Cool G is one that that makes me really happy. Um, mm-hmm. When you said it, I was like, oh, that's dope. I hadn't really thought yeah. about that, but yeah, that's you know, that's definitely a, a really really that. dope list. And. And boot camp click just for the delivery and vibe I feel I bring and how my voice sits over the music. I could really see like, you know, the black moon and all that shit y'all was saying, how people could yeah. hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah. True, nice. True indeed. Name some artists outside of the uh the genre of hip hop that you be digging. Outside of the genre um, of hip hop. I'm into like, you know, Jill Sky Haran a lot. I love mm. I love Pieces of a Man. That's probably one of mm. my favorite albums of all time. Mm. Um I'm a fan of Bill Evans, uh, George Duke, Herbie Hancock. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I like rock music too. I love Pink Floyd. I love, uh, Premise, Misfits, uh, oh, Misfits, Misfits, the doors. Thing, course, brother. Yeah, doors, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you say Primus? Yep. Yep. Primus. I oh love my them. goodness. Um, my favorite band ever is Black Sabbath. You know what I mean? Their oh, first wow. album. Shout out Ozzy. Really, yeah, that shit is crazy. So my, my shit is all over the place, bro. My favorite genre really is jazz, though. But I, I, I love it all. You know, I just love music. Mm. So indeed, so indeed. Whatever mm. sounds good. And I, I like right. I like to like tell people that all over the game. To me, uh, some of the best hip hop records I've heard in my life is like, oh, you know, you know remember uh, Victor Vaughn 2? Victor uh, Vaughn too. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first, the first track produced by Diplo, doubled off the man. Right. Don't spend that two bucks, a uh, ten bucks. I uh, did it for the advance. The back end sucks. 
I right. love that beat so much that my homies like that shit sound weird, man. I'm right. like, <laughs> I, 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 I think that's one of the, a, a classic beat. So whatever sounds good to me I, is is hip hop. Like I always <laughs> I mean, feel like um when hip hop crosses over and you mm-hmm. get shit like Tame Impala, or you get one mm-hmm. of these you know indie motherfuckers to put their little two cents in on it. Yeah, you always get good. something crazy. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You always get something. That you would have never thought we could do with this shit. So I, 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 do, I love shit like that. You, you know, know what's kind of weird about our generation? And, and obviously, you know, I'm talking about us in the kind of late 30s to 50s range mm-hmm. is we we had a very definite fashion representative of what we what we liked musically. You know, you right. had mods, you had skinheads, you had punks, you had hip right. hop, you had all these different fashion styles for what you listen to. Boy. But mm-hmm. I promise Dead you. Boy. Any of those people now, you play a different genre of music and they know it. Right. You know what I mean? Like you can go into a right. punk club and throw some Wu Tang on, and I promise you, they, they all know, know yeah. to protect their neck. See mm-hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? My, like right, we all listen right. to all of that stuff, even though you know you might have dressed this way or that way, and primarily right. listen to that. It was kind of like that first generation that really listened to a, a broad spectrum a of music. Of you know, you get, and that's why you get bands like Rage Against the Machine and yes. shit because it's like mm. an appreciation yeah. for everything. Punk and hip hop is, is almost like brothers because it's it, it's a form of music that come out of depression, yep. strife, and like wanting to rebel. And they all, so, all that Wu-Tang shows and they all be at the Wu-Tang right, show. The right. Skaters, right. The skaters, yeah. the punks, <laughs> all of it. But think about oh, like Wu-Tang. Onyx. Onyx mm-hmm. came from hip hop, but it also came from metal and and from hardcore it's, and exactly. you know that that influence of of taking this and then just putting sheer aggression behind it. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah, man. Shout think, out J. Peter. That's what we were talking think, about. Though, that's oh yeah, why, my force, uh, my force, MIC. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I I think uh, that's why a lot of the music now though it feels stripped down of like culture and depth and, and meaning because. These kids aren't listening to nothing. So they're not, there's no references. They're not pulling nothing or yeah. making nothing, you know, better. It's just, they go in the studio, they just say whatever the fuck, and they don't really know music. Like a lot of the instruments they even rapping on is, is from a fucking computer. It's not even a real drum or a real whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, I think that's the problem. There's no real appreciation oh. for music. You know? yeah, but here, I, I, overstand that. Overstand I that. Want, go ahead, order, I overstand yeah, that. Go for it. Because they don't know. They they are not educated on a lot of things. Period. You go. Exactly. You go. To, you see these YouTube videos, and someone tells them name uh, a city in Africa. They don't even say Cairo. They don't even see Johannesburg. They don't say nothing. Nah. So they'll say uh, Ghana. That's not a freaking. They'll city. say Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria. But but they they're not cultured enough on any a lot of things to have anything to rap about than the other the normal stuff. I remember one right. kid asked me, if you ain't talking about sex, drugs, and uh, I guess that's it. What else is there to rap about? I'm like, what? Right. So th- this is what we're on right now. Pretty much that. Yeah, so what you what we're saying right here, <laughs> damn it. The kid, you know, it's it's the same argument that unfortunately somebody had when the makers of hip hop were doing what they were doing back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know, now that let's you know we had the 50th anniversary year, let's let's talk about it because I mean we we have mm. elders and the youth of hip hop now. It's a it's a, it's a me, it's you a know, genre. John King was a youth, <laughs> right? But see, now that I do, and I like I said, I again I appreciate having him here so much more because of his. Oh, his man, we youth knew. and his mind state. Uh, we knew. But, we had to know. Cole Anthony, he he just been in the NBA for like two years, right? Three years? Yeah. This nigga's his A. Why yeah. didn't we put that together? Cole Because we're dumb. Who is Cole Anthony? Get, <laughs> Cole Anthony's Greg Anthony's son who went to Oak Hill. He played basketball oh. against him. Mm-hmm. So oh, he had up. to be oh, hey, wow. okay. So was right. he your teammate? Was he your teammate? Yeah, or, damn. Uh, I, um, or you played nah. against him? I've just played against him a few times, okay. you know, growing up. So you had up. to be, you had to be right. in this age. So we should have put two and two together and realized this nigga's not 27. I just knew that, I just knew the man used to hoop. I didn't know who he, oh, who I, was hooping contemporaries and all I, that I, stuff. I, yeah, I, see, I, I hey. Know, but it's my fault. You I should have put that, I should have put that in there. It's been like two months since we was supposed to interview on the first time, right? I should have told you that shit, huh? 
Yeah, you bad. probably should have told me. It's all right. No, it's all good. I mean, but I again, to what I was puzzle. saying. I put the piece together the puzzle. Huh? My bad. Oh, man, you, you're dropping gems, man. I'm glad you yeah. did. You're, you're not. You're not, Lukey. Damn it. You're yeah. smart and people like you. But yo, that's but right. it does make so it more anyway, impressive when guy is 23, though, man. This is amazing. And that's what I was saying. He you know more than 30-year-olds. Correct. See, you're saying it all, Luki. I mean, Yo, the no, knowledge go, you Primo got, Jab, no, 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 go. Yo, let Primo Jab go. Whoa, 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 what time? What He's time? saying it all. I know. The knowledge that you have, <laughs> I don't have to say you. Have to get locked up for this shit. You realize that, right? My guy, my go. But here, that that was a that was an extra bonus gem that he just made up. That's copyright, Luki Cage. He put that one in there. <laughs> but that's a good point. That's a good point, also. But what I was gonna say is, um, damn it. As, I suck. No, nah, it's all good. No, nah, Luki. Hey, cool out, Luki. So yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Luki. <sighs> so, like I said, it's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. We yeah. can't start looking back. We can't be the snake that eats its tail. We can't start mm-hmm. looking back on certain segments of the youth that's out here doing something that's coming from a total creative place of nothing. They're coming from a pocket of silence right they're making their own thing we can't we can't start hating on them because it ain't our cup of tea right Right. we can we could just say that ain't for me and you know recognize it like that Mm -hmm. we the moment we try to ostracize or look down upon them or try to say what they aren't in in our lens and and for you john as as those being your colleagues Mm -hmm. you can't even you do what you do. That's exactly. all you need to worry about. You doing what you doing, and exactly. you doing what you doing at a high level right now. Exactly, and that's that's oh, why I'm mad with it. I don't, I don't. Uh, y'all can hear me. Mm-hmm. I I can. Um, I don't, and, and that's why I'm mad with it because I don't really judge the, those like you know the kids my age. I do what they do because I know it comes from a place of like, you know, honesty. You know what I mean, and what they're going mm. through and what they see. So you can't right. really say fuck them. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. it's a reason Science. it's coming out like that. You know what Science. I mean? So it's the right. You Science. can't fault them. You can't mm-hmm. fault them for for not having a musical history or right. something. Like sometimes the lightning just strike them one day. Maybe they only heard one song ever, and that just made them want to have these thoughts to exactly. I can do this. And they putting together their pots and pans or whatever to make they sound. That's cool, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, to yeah, an that's, extent, that's hip hop in its heart. To oh. an extent, oh, we lost Jack King. Oh man, he'll be back. He'll be, yeah, he'll yeah be but back. um, I, I I I definitely understand that. But they have this uh, um, rich kid. I think he's from uh, Staten Island or somewhere. His name, his name is Little Mabu. Uh, he goes okay. to a private school where uh, he has the uh, the private school. Uh, you have to pay thirty thousand a semester to be in there. His dad. Hey, it's one of the few people who's legally a- able to carry a firearm. And right now, he's like the face of drill music. Uh, he's a little little white kid, high schooler. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, uh, a lot of the people nowadays, um, a lot of young kids have died in the drill music community. And um, he is benefiting, saying all this, run them down with the drill and killing on the ops and stuff like that. Um and it's kind of sickening. Uh, also, I don't know if you all heard the song Heroes by Macklemore. It's a DJ Premier beat. Um, it seems like he's saying everything bad he got from hip hop. Instead of like saying hip hop, I love hip hop. He said the people drinking 40s and selling drugs made him want to go sell weed and do all this. It seemed kind of disrespectful. It's, it, to me, it's <clears throat> it's a voyeur's point of view. Um, somebody who was purely voyeuristic about the culture um, and only absorbed the sensationalism of it. It's That's, that's his, uh, his lamentations over his lost youth being misguided, chasing down or trying to be something that he wasn't. Well, yes, and, right. ev- and everybody's different too. Cause I, mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't, you know, strap up and start, you know, banging and shit. 
Right. That does, you know yeah, what I mean? That like, there's, have to there's, go there's people that are that with hip hop music. Or yeah, the I mean, there are people that that fall into cults. Yes. I'm not going to get tricked oh. into a cult. You know what I mean? Some people just, you know, you know, so like, you know, they've used that back in the day. It was, you know, we want to ban rap music because it's influencing, right. but they've it's done that with video games. They've done it with heavy metal. You know, they tried to ban Ozzy. Oh, he eats oh, the heads off of bats and you, you know, sick. don't support satanic ready. stuff and all this stuff. And, you know, it, some people are going to fall into that. Some people are just sheep, but not everybody. And and you can't blame uh, an art or a product for for people's lack of sensibility. True indeed. Um, Here we go. He's coming. He's coming. Um, it, and right when he comes back on, I'm gonna tell him this right here. Um, Count down to three, two, Not- one. JC Castellario, Jack King. I'm I'm just um, glad because this is going so well. I don't I don't want to stop. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not. Don't stop. worry. We're going. We get it. You, you don't, can't stop. Won't stop. Rockefeller Mecca's because we yeah. keep it down, baby. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Keep it down. The phone so, died, did it? Yeah, died, died in the fucking car. Yep, yep. It, it, happens, it happens, man. It happens, yo. Word, word, word. But uh, one of the most refreshing things about uh, Ja King to me, uh, we talked about the drill, drill music real, real quick, but uh, we, one of the most refreshing things is you don't forget your culture and yourself. Lost in the Asian culture. Mm. There's a lot of kids that get lost in the sauce. Who try yeah. to perm their hair and look like Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah. I'm, just I'm, love, I've they, seen they it. Love. Yeah. Not to not not to say those kids because I talk to those stay kids. On. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Stay on. The, the, I don't. LA ain't nobody from what they like. It ain't about look, yet. but I know exactly yeah. what you're saying. True I, indeed, I get what you indeed. mean. It's a superficial yeah. thing. It's a cosplayer, and it's somebody who. Accepts the principles and the oh, lifestyle. Right. It's, a, it's right. a totally two different things. I get what and you're some, saying. Some black kids have been ostracized. I said that word, mm-hmm. ostracized about. Yeah, you did, uh, Luffy. Way to go. Man. Thanks, man. I'm thinking. I'm taking after you and Carl, man. They from the black <laughs> community uh, for liking other cultures, uh, but I don't. I will never ostracize none of my right. people for well, liking what they like. You, you know, know that's 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 a white woman problem, though. Mm. Huh? Well, so, all explain. of this, because, you know, white women decided that they were going to really start championing <laughs> appropriation of culture. Exactly. When when yeah. most people not only don't care, but in a lot of ways would appreciate it. You know, I've seen <laughs> videos where a dude will dress 100 percent in in Chinese authentic fair right and mm-hmm. and he'll go in the street and he'll start interviewing and every white woman is like you should be no, ashamed okay. of yourself mm-hmm. why why would you do that that's so insulting and blah 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 yet he'll go straight into chinatown and in chinese speak with people and, yeah, and, and, and ask is this offensive and they'll go no you look beautiful right you know what i mean it's like right. well yeah why would right. I not want somebody to understand my culture? If I understand your culture more, I understand you more. You more. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And, and if I understand you more, I can I can empathize, I can sympathize, and I can I can at least approach things from a different standpoint, having more knowledge. Exactly. So but it's yeah. about also being you, being yourself still. But there's a level and a respect in, that you have to have to that. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, know, you don't. You don't, I don't want cosplay. island boys, right? Correct. That's correct. That's what I'm. You know what I mean? There's put on to the me, outfit and, and act like that's you know that's appropriation. Uh, act a certain way. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and you know those two dudes? They were like uh, Epstein's like so sons right. or something, that's sex slaves or something. They, that's oh, is it? That's, that's that does, oh, never mind. I was about to. I was about to pass that around. <laughs> they, <look like> them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sure do look like Epstein. I was like, man, he knocked yeah. up one of those models, left her yeah, out of Florida. Hey. Every time I, I see a, uh, something like that, I always go and uh, try to do the knowledge. Just like when they say Drake put the hot sauce in the condom, that was not really that was true. No, that's been that is a story that had been passing around, but that's a hilarious concept, <laughs> and I, I think it's amazing that somebody would go to the trouble of of doing that to say, "Hey, yeah, that actually does work." It's a thing. <laughs> yeah, that shit. That shit. I would never. It would never be. That that, that would never be cool. No. That would be cool. Now let's go to uh, another chamber. Now I remember. I actually watched an uh, interview and you talked about how you just was playing basketball. It's because you thought people 
That's what other people wanted you to do. That wasn't like never your passion. So basketball was never you're somebody who was good at. Like and you, you just Um I think um I think it was a time in my life when I was really passionate about the game and it was something I I could see myself doing, but I always been a multifaceted, you know, person and I always been into more things than just basketball my whole life. And I think what happened was later on in life, you know, a lot of personal shit went on and, you know, you grow up and you have your little teenage years and you start figuring out things about yourself. So I started falling out of love with the game and started to return back to those things that felt more like home. So, if, you know, clothes, you know, hip hop, um, art, going to museums, going to pop ups, just being outside. Those things felt more natural to me and more um um, like invigorating than just, you know, playing ball and shit like that. But when I was playing basketball, I was serious. I was one of the kids who got up at 5 a.m. I would run. I would get up shots before the game. I was drenched in sweat before my games after. So, you know, it was something I was passionate about. And it taught me, you know, real discipline. Do you That's think what position? Uh, no, I was just saying what position? Um... I was I was like a like a combo guard like one and two okay one yeah. two okay that's what's up so you nice. what you about six four something like that I was I'm like six one oh wow okay yeah, so I was okay. undersized mm -hmm. yeah no doubt all right yeah, real six, one, strict, six, yeah, rod strict one as well. size joint yeah. mm. you think Bassy. when it became you think when it became more as a a, a tool as far as them picking niggas because they gotta pick you and coaches gotta believe in you type deal. It, it became something else. It um, wasn't like it wasn't of your own doing. Your 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 college career and your career relied strictly on somebody else, and it wasn't you. You, you think that yeah. had something to do with it? Yeah, yeah, it was like that. You know what I mean? It could be like outside parental pressure and shit. People telling you like, yeah. you know, this is your way to go. You know, go play basketball. And I'm not saying like my I got some crazy hard knock story because it's not that. You know, I I've had my experience in life when I had less, but it is more like, you know, my folks seen I had an opportunity and I could do something with the game. So they was like, yo, you should just do that. Not focus on nothing else. And that kind of um, threw me off my swivel from probably what other things I probably could have been doing, working on, you know what I'm saying? You mentioned art. I see you've got some dope art in the background, including it looks like a Dave Proach piece back there. Yeah, yeah, I got all the Dave Proach art. I got a uh, awesome couple things. You got the Chucky doll, you know, the nice. Resident Tory. Got this shit. I got all type of stuff, man. Nice. Take that nice. Dyer, your album cover up there, right there. Yeah, that's the new one. And that's the old, the Delusions yep. one up there. Yep. yep. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, the gold the one is that uh, is that yeah. Kip that did that one? This one? Yeah. Yeah, Kip did yeah, that. Kip the fog. Oh. Yeah, shout out. He did yeah. the parables of sower or the the yeah the, yeah. the parables of the sower cover. Yeah, he did that. Yeah. One. Oh wow, damn yeah. Kip, you snap. Yeah, yeah, that shit is is really That's gold a whole too. Different style. Mm -hmm. Oh crazy. wow, it's on the gold yeah, foil. Yeah, he's the gold. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that shit was that hard yo. That that was for poor Kip was uh. Now, now Kip is now he's super through the roof now because yeah. he did that Bart Simpson shit. It's funny so how Lisa, had, enjoyed. Lisa yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny how he did that, and that's so much uh, more complex than Lisa Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he has, it shows you that like sometimes I I would less hate to more. say less is more, but less, to yeah. the un to the un it's so easy. That's why some people don't get. So I, I get it when you say sometimes you like do this, you're complex, and you sometimes you do this right here. It's a cool keep on because some people just are they they're not ready for the apple. They need the applesauce. They need the baby food first. You know what right. I'm saying? And Kip's one of those dudes. I mean, he became famous off of uh, uh, Charles Schultz style, you know, drawings, right? right? Yeah, the peanuts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Peanut, peanut, um, yeah. you know. But in that, I think one of Kip's strengths is finding the nuance and simplicity. And and that's why the Lisa joint works really well. Um, you know, there again, he he takes something that's, you know, culturally iconic, which obviously West Side Gun loves, and then, you know, <laughs> throws a throws a Griselda spin on it, 
but still finds the nuance in that simplicity. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's still fire. But yeah, then he can turn definitely. around and do a dope cover like that with Gold Leaf and, you know, knock that shit out of the park. So, exactly. yeah, shout out to him. Absolutely. Yeah. Shout out. Now, how do you run into uh, uh, the kit for that cover? Or you had a relationship with him prior? Um, yeah, you know, he, he would, you know, show love on my stuff. You know what I mean? Really, after I dropped Delusions, I started getting a lot of love from no type of dudes. They would just tap in, send the likes, send they love or whatever support. And then he kind of came out to the art gallery I had thrown in Brooklyn and, and hung up some of his work, and we got close from there. Nice. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's dope. Shout out, shout out to Kip. Now, yeah, let's talk yeah. about another man you ran into, uh, Coach the God. How you run into Coach? Yeah, the same thing, bro. I dropped Delusion to Grandeur. Shit was getting love. And then Coach, you know, tapped in. And he was like, yo, I see what you're doing out here. And this is actually after Sun Tzu dropped. It's like, I see what you're yeah. doing. I see your face and your name a lot. And um, same thing, just natural. Just kept building and growing over time. I, I got a lot of respect for Coach. I, I really did yeah. his professionalism. And he definitely works hard. You know, I, I don't yeah. know what a lot of managers do because I don't hear from him. But, you know, I'll hear from that dude. And he represents his people a lot. So, yeah, shout out yeah. to that dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, he's dope, bro. He's dope. So, only, only up from here right now, yo. Only up from here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, Primo Jab, Carl, what we got next? So yeah, we, yeah, okay. Oh, go okay. ahead, No, Carl. no, no. Go, go, go Primo Jab. Take it. Take it. I, I, I can, I I can hold off. I was going to get into some comic shit because I, I know we were talking some comics earlier, but yeah, if you we got music-related gonna... stuff, I think we should stay on that tip. Yeah, I was going to talk some more. I was going to talk some more rap shit. Hit I was going to definitely talk some more rap shit. All right, so Black Sun Tzu... With the with the iconic Doom Hay cover, mm-hmm. obviously, uh, and that's what Stab Master Arson did that cover. Who did Stab that Master cover? Arson. Yeah, Stab Master Arson. Right. So, I mean, you've been. It's not surprising that people have been reaching out to you and checking for you for a second. Um, you go from that. Then we got the Parables of the Sower that just came out, mm-hmm. right? Now you're about to depart. You about to go into a different zone. It's it's no yeah. longer going to be the, the Bushido path. It's no longer going to be this this samurai world. It's going to be the the crazed scientist from or yes. the crazed doctor and the lawyer. Doctor from, yeah. from goddamn it, fear of Loven. Yeah, yeah, and that's that was the segue off. You know, with the Doctor Wayne personality. Yeah, now we about to tap into the straight on um, into a new bag, and I think. Just a new way of writing, and it's okay. still, um, like the way Dr. Wayne I explained before is still super technical, is super like scientific, but this is now a different side of him, where it's like very um, like mad scientist. You know what I mean? So this is yeah. work, his work personality, right? Exactly, almost Thank more you. so, right? Like this is him doing what he does, right? Versus uh, that's oh, that's that guy, you know. Before he, that's just his daily life, almost right. right. Almost, okay. almost, yeah. Like telling you how he got there. Like in this album, I think this might be the most honest and straightforward I ever made. Like you know, been in music. I'm out to really? probably say a lot of things a lot of people probably didn't expect or think I've been through. Or you know, it's gonna be you know, it's dope. It's different. All right. So to get to this chamber, did you start using shrooms and? And drinking shots of, <laughs> you know, Tiger Bomb or what? <laughs> tiger Bomb. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot that's of that's stuff. There's a lot of stuff I've, you know, I probably did that you ain't going to see on the surface or hear when I'm speaking. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's like giving insight on that. So, you know, the drug stuff and, and having, you know, certain times in my life and I kind of, you know, clocked out and just said mm. fuck things. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I'm. A, I will be talking about that type of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't okay. expect to hear some of that clocking out from a Ja King. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I had I had moments, bro, where I was like, "Yo, fuck it," you know what I'm saying? And well, well good thing they short moments because yeah, exactly. You, you, mm-hmm. Yeah, how you bounce back? We we glad that you you bounce back, right? You good? We, we good? Right, right. Yeah, I'm good now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm we good wanna, now. We don't want to yeah. talk. You know what I'm saying? Want to talk to JC? See here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So say hi. <laughs> word. Yeah, word. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, My bad. I nah. interrupted. Go ahead. 
No, you ain't you ain't interrupt because y'all y'all kind of picked up on it. I was just asking. I mean, did you start drinking Tiger Bomb? Did you you know start <laughs> drinking uh fungus drinks? Uh, <laughs> did you did you you know drop drop peyote? Go on an ayahuasca trip. The fuck? Yeah, ayahuasca, well, ayahuasca trips. Man, you I know, I mean, I see you talk a lot of psychedelic. Yeah, influence and deeper dogmas, right? You know mm-hmm. what what's what's really going on in in your your mentals. You know, like did you yeah. have you seen the DMT people? <laughs> have you been to the top of the pyramid and the they told man? you they've been waiting for you? No, like, you know all this shit. I mean, I've played. If I'm being honest, I played with the tabs. You know, I played with different That's type of shrooms. You know, what I mean, I haven't went all the way. Yeah, say what you're comfortable with. You ain't got it. You know, look, hey right. man, this ain't. You know, we're not hey. looking to dry snitch anybody. No, no, yeah. bro. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? I was you know, just like inquiring. Yeah, yeah, I play with I play with that stuff. I haven't got too crazy with the DMT ayahuasca because I feel like just from my experience with what I did do, I was almost gone and out of here. If I'm being real, you know wow. what I'm saying? So See? I I think a lot, I feel like, and I got a lot going on in my head. So it's yeah, like I can't I don't think I need all that. You know no, what I mean? with you. 100%, you gotta know yourself. Bro. I, I will say this. yourself. I had a conversation with Maze Overlay, who's a huge proponent of of um, mushrooms like specifically. Um, but you know, you really don't have to to go into a bunch of that. Mushrooms themselves will allow you to have that ego breakdown that you need to be uh, able to move forward in life. You know, if if well, you can if you can at least experience that and get to that root core of of why your ego is in your way, mm-hmm. and mushrooms do help you do that. I think it makes a huge difference in your outlook and how you move forward. It, it definitely does. And um, and when my, my experience is, son, I feel like I've seen a lot. Um, I sat with a lot, you know, myself, and I, you know, I figured it out. Not everything, but I definitely figured out, like, you know, a lot of the key things that keep me going now. You know what I mean? And Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm good. Just give me a Mike's Hard Lemonade. I'll leave all that for y'all. <laughs> I do not need to open up uh, any chamber to make me more crazy than I am right now. I think so dark a lot of times. I think right. like everybody's trying to kill me who don't, who don't. I never thought Primo Jabba Carl would try to kill me or harm me in any type of way. But the people I think, like coworkers and stuff, I think right. like they, I'm, I have a contingency plan like Batman. That's some Justice I League shit. Real shit. Right. I don't need to open up any more gates and chambers. Man, right. if y'all would know what what I, I was thinking when I, this child was conceived, she would probably hate me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't need to open up any of that. But a lot of the things you're saying, Joaquin, is so impressive, and it's not something you can learn in high school and college. You know what I'm saying? And there's something that needs to be spread. Um, and I think you one of the guys to do it. So I Absolutely. think J. Cole lame. You know what I'm saying? I think he's lame, <laughs> yo. I mean, I, I don't think you lame, G. And that's, that's, I think, I don't like nobody lame, really, or, or corny. I, I, I can, I can love them. I don't think they, you know what I'm saying? Boom. I'm like, no nigga softer than me. I don't think I'm soft. You know what I'm saying? Word. Right. And I think it you. Yeah, it was a right. pause. It was a pause. Yeah, okay. pause. Good job, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that I think that you, I, 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 I low key, I thought you was twenty seven or thirty. I thought that yeah, yeah, you can grab Definitely those did. guys. Yeah, you can grab those guys. But being that you're younger than that, yeah, it, it makes me. Yeah, it makes me. Josh the author, uh, Jack J Mac, those guys right there, twenty one, yeah, twenty two. They're his age. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. This so happens. He raps good. Man, but that again, yeah. that's what I was that was what I was saying before, man. You know, that's why we can't be mad at people who don't know We're not or, mad at who them. don't know stuff. No, but no. I'm not saying yeah. mad. I'm saying in yeah. general, uh critical of people who don't know certain things or whatever. And and we can't group them all together, a group of an age group or a generation uh-huh. all together and be be like, oh yeah, no, they're they're behind because of this or because of that. Because you got examples like Ja King right here, who's yes. spitting some wild bars that are mm. put together with the again the intention and the 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 purposeness behind the purposefulness mm. behind them of a true MC 
really trying to communicate principles and communicate uh cinematic shit to use your term, Ja King. You know what I mean? <laughs> like visualize visualizations spoken through word. And that's and he's 23. So that's what I'm saying. I say all that to say that Jordan. hope is not lost, man. There's, oh, no, there's more the people whole. out here. And it's it's exciting that you're doing that now and that you're not even you're not even done evolving yet, man. You know, you're continually but, evolving and you're leaving room on yourself to be cool with evolving. You know, that's a lot of people. They think, oh, yeah, I start rapping a certain way or I start doing a certain thing. That's who I am. And right. they don't allow themselves to have the growth or the change of experimenting Facts. with their style or whatever the case is. There's, so, there's yeah, a, that's dope. There's a commonality, though, and right. and it's it says a lot to what we're what we're hearing right now is quality. So, yeah, quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because That's the best because part. this this lane, like a lot of other genres of music, is succeeding in spite of. And right. and to back you up, Primo Jab, why we Full shouldn't circle. be critical and and why we have to kind of understand why people aren't tapped in is because it's still very radio driven. It's still very industry driven. And mm. and what the majority and the masses are going to hear is is what's going to be pushed out there it's little nas x doing t-mobile commercials it's you know all of those kind of weird things where it's pushed down that this is what you should be listening to and in spite of that whether it's through great parenting and and people sharing love of music like my my dad you know had me listening to tina turner uh rest in peace you know um Mm. you know my mom had me listening to quincy jones and you know like good parenting and then friends who who tap you into stuff and and we found that with the reddit guys and and we find it really for anybody in that under 30 that are in this lane it's because somebody tapped them in it's not because they have a mainline outlet to this right and it's only Mm -hmm. because it's quality that it continues to not only exist but thrive and that happens with you know all kinds of different genres of music there's radio stuff and metal and then there's really good metal, which you never hear on the radio, right? Exactly. There's, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and, and right. Mind force and, and bands like that. So, you know, I think it just speaks to the quality of what this lane is producing and what you're producing, um, that keep a younger generation into this and, and keep us old heads wanting to share it. Yeah. Uh, uh Joaquin, yeah. uh, can I get your opinion on, uh, one point in time, he was one of my favorite rappers, and there was a lot of hope for this guy. Uh, and I, you said his name before. I don't want you to slander him. I'm not saying what, what Carl, what Carl, what? Nope. Go, go, go. Jay Electronica, what are your thoughts on Jay Elect? <laughs> um, I, you know, what I'm saying I obviously I put him in my top five, so I definitely think really highly of dude. Um, I feel like he's a an artist, you had to go look for his stuff to really know what he did and what his mm-hmm. impact was. You have mm-hmm. to really, um, you have to understand the references, the biblical mm-hmm. shit he's talking about, mm-hmm. the, the spiritual shit he's talking about, the, the, the books that he's referencing and movies yeah. that he's talking about. You I'm have like, to really, the, yes, oh, yeah, you have to be, you know, a, a rounded person to understand what JLEC is doing. Super so, I, <laughs> right. So, I understand if you don't look at him that way, but when you do understand what he's doing, I don't, I can't say, I don't know how you can't look at him as one of the greatest ever, you know, to do this. So, you know, some shit is questionable, the Rothschild shit and all that. I never I understood. About to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not even I can tell you that. why I don't look at him as one of the greatest ever, <laughs> hey, but you I, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah, just yeah. touched on it right there. What, what, yeah. Skills wise, though, the other side, undisputable. Is there, is there another side, the Rothschilds, questionables? That, like, like, Primo Jab, you like to elaborate that I'm going to tell y'all about what I think the electronic is. I love him too, yo. Word. Do I want to elaborate on the the Rothschild situation? No, any, anything else about Jay Elect? I'm gonna elaborate myself. No, I mean I think I think he he is a tease and he's a disappointment. He breaks our hearts constantly and right. consistently because right. he shows us he's he's a deadbeat dad of hip hop, right? He oh comes God. around. 
he comes around every every once in a while, like you know, so and he's like, yeah, is. man, oh man, you know, he comes out spitting crazy, and you're like, yeah, he's here, yeah, this is great, and he's like, hey, hold on, I left something in the car. New <laughs> album coming next week. He <laughs> don't come back till you 14 years old. Dan Leck like, went for milk hey, three years, years ago. Oh, you like, got a mustache. <laughs> Where you been? He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm cool. Here, you know, yeah, let's hang out a little bit. Don't worry, it's going to be different this time. Hey, let's, you want to go to the arcade? Here, go on in there. I got to get some change for, some, for the machine. Ha, ha, ha. He runs away again. Six years later, he comes back. You 20 years old. You, you in college now. Right. And he's like, I really want to like, make a difference. Even, to you. I, like, I want to mean something to you. It's like, bro, I'm in college now, man. I'm, I've moved on. You, you broke my heart too many times, man. You right. broke my heart. Right. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah, that's actually that's how great, I feel. So sorry. That. I'm sorry. That is great. I, is I will great. say this great. though. I'm and and amazing analogies. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that if to me, if you've had one of the greatest records of all time then that puts you up in that conversation. If if you drop two trash projects after it, it doesn't make that other project not one of the greatest projects of all time, right? No, of course not, right. It's still so, what it was. You know, I think if you can represent yourself in the way that JLAC does and 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 spit bars like he does, then you you have to say he's done that. That's it's out of there. Course. That's, you I'm know. I'm not taking away from him. Dad bought me Transformers for Christmas. I get it. I understand I that. I it. honor him for that. I loved yeah. it. But why? Why? I don't. You made me feel a certain way. Pause. <laughs> and then you left. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's a great man, analogy. You showed me how raw you were with these these various showings and, and people with the legend of Jay Electronic. I mean, he was like a specter that existed in the underground for so long, right? Whenever there were rumors Jay Elect was going to put something out, people was like, hell yeah, it's on again. He would put out one song, two songs, next new album coming soon. Eight years later, the album would finally come out, and you're like, come on, man. Right. Like, damn, um, man. The one, the one time he came back after he left for a pack of cigarettes and never came back, he brought back, he brought us back Jordan's and and uh, throwbacks and all type of those. He brought us Jay Z. Yeah. Wait, wait, when he came back, did he so disappear telling... again? No, yeah, no. Then see... we then we ran into him at Walmart when he gave us the project he thought he, he always gonna give us. Yeah, oh, the one that took like eight years. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, that guy. Look, 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 look. <laughs> no, it's funny yeah. you say that he brought us back Jay Z and Jordans because and and throwbacks because yeah he he came back. Like we was still relevant at a time when we had all moved on and we were on something different. Right. Man, I love right. that album, you though. you fed into the analogy nah, I, I already. Loved it. I loved I loved that album. But to me, Jay cool. Electronic. Jay Z was cool on there. Yeah, yeah, but I, I love that. I cry on that album. I hear that last song all the time. Uh but uh yeah. uh freaking uh yeah, five, Mr. Robert the uh, Bread. Five man out died. of ten. I don't care. I love that album. I give it ten out of ten. Big up Jay Lex and Jay Jay Z. Right. Anyway, boom, Jay Z talking about Allah. Oh my God. Anyway. I believe Jay Electronica, it's okay. We're gonna go night night. We're gonna take a bath in a second, all right? I love you. Hey baby. Okay. You alright? You alright. So boom. Um yeah, I, 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 I see that. Hey yo, boom. Uh I think Jay Electronica is the biggest failure in hip hop because <laughs> it was <laughs> it was <laughs> him. See, yeah, this is why we talk to the youth, because yeah, yeah, y'all need to y'all need to hear these opinions. That's a fact though. <laughs> him? Kendrick, J. Cole, Drake were all coming up at the same time. Yep. If whoever blows up, that's what people begin to bite and try to sound like him. If Jay Electronica Le- 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 dropped at his height, people would have started biting him and start exactly. talking about God. There would be right. more Ja Kings out there right now. Now mm. there's just one Ja King. I'm cool right. with that. And I'm glad, really. No say a word. Right. For, for you, because you're standing bomb. out. You know what I'm saying? But it's like no one's no one was biting God. Right. Like they were, I was so happy people, he was dropped, even though he's our age. I was so happy someone was rapping about God again. Right. Because we no seem to have lost him. And I believe that was the biggest failure in hip hop history. And he made it. And I agree at the same time because he made it so fire. It wasn't. Oh, the, my God. Yes. It wasn't exactly. what niggas was used to, though. It was still hard. And he just said, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? And he chose, this, okay, it's like you, your soundscape. 
is uh, another thing that is very important when you take the music you listen to. You have a really good ear for, for beats. Jay had, had a great ear for beats as well, even though he was cheating using Dilla beats. <laughs> yeah, word. Yeah, because that's that one of my was, favorites. That beat was cold. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say, oh that song God. was cold. So, like, yeah, yeah. So, boom. Um, yeah. Um, I get sad sometimes talking about that dude, but his influence oh is still out there today. You know what I'm saying? It's still out there. Right. It is. Who die? Who die? It Who is. Die? And I just yeah, hope, like, you know, certain guys like me, we could fill that type of void and still keep that voice in the culture, you know, that vibe of music, and just take it to another level as far as the action Bronxes or the Griseldas or the Joey Badasses. You know what I mean? We do it do it our way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Indeed. Well, and that would you be a great guy for the rap on. You know what I'm saying? A great uh, uh, Jai J. Elect. Oh, my God. That sounds good yeah. off the tongue, Paul. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro, I I still would get a verse from Boy if I could. If I you could. probably can't check it out. There's, there's only like, of course, they said there's six degree, degrees of separation. Six degrees of separation. Now there's like two. Because I was texting Crowdfaces while he was sitting next to Donald Trump at a fight. Speaking of, they hey man, Donald Trump going crazy right now. They they really yeah. acting like they gonna come again. I yeah. hope it happens. We'll see. I'm yeah. in the future so, right now. Future self, what happened? Please what? tell me it happened. I want to learn. But yeah, you you one tweet away from him hopping on a joint. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Absolutely. Yep. You don't know who's listening, man. Yeah, me? I, I mean, uh-huh. it's obvious that a lot of people are listening because <laughs> you're doing something different. And not only that, you're doing it at a high level, man. And it, mm-hmm. Thank you. People, people got their ears open. Oh, yeah. And oh. and just to to piggyback on that, you know, doing it at a high level um and and being 23, knowing that you have all of this time to really take that to, you know, these next levels and I I'm just yeah. really excited to see where your career is going to take you, for sure. Who, who the fuck is your fans then? Oh, oh your fans my age. Of course. Um, I like see you see what you happened. Game. This is this is something else that happened too be. that a lot of people don't really know. I dropped the album called Growing Pains when I was 17, 18 years old. Mm-hmm. Last summer, that shit went viral on like a mega tip. Like that shit mm-hmm. currently is at like four million plays on uh, Spotify. And oh, that, really? that other account had it was at a certain point, that other account that Ja King the Devon account. Had two hundred and fifty mm-hmm. uh, monthly listeners. Plus, 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 yeah, yeah. Out there. And the other one, I yeah, you got two joints. The other one got nine, nine, right. nine what something thousand or something. So basically, Different Spotify spellings. split split my accounts up. Um, this is this, uh, years ago. This is like twenty nineteen, and I had to make a new Jaquin account. So if you go to the 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 album, the Jaquin account with the Grand Pains album. That's the one that I like. I got the influx of fans mm-hmm. from this TikTok that went viral. I don't even use TikTok. It was just yeah. a white dude that shared my shit, and that shit went like it's currently at four point yeah. million views and all of that. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, and then was you know, he doing like song. some crazy dance or something or, or what? <laughs> what nah, yo, he's just a white dude. He was like, yo, one of this kid's followers just sent me his music, and I couldn't believe no one has ever heard him. And then sun, it's like Eight. overnight. That shit just kept flicking. That's all it takes. And then I looked up a month later. I had three hundred million. I mean, I had three million plays on one song. Yeah. Wow. Sean and Marlon. And um, yeah, that's where it really shit kicked off. So my fan base is a mix of you guys, and then a lot of these young kids who still want this shit. You yeah, know what bring I mean? them in. That's dope. Bring them in. Yeah. That's dope. Show uh, them that there's something better than than trap and drill. The gap, man. Hey, yo, if they try yeah. to rap against me, I'm gonna punch them in the face, though, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> Thanks, Luki. I, I couldn't resist it. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna enlighten in the youth I, as usual. Well, I get my car. I ain't got no bail money. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I I, I know you got to jump out of here, but we definitely have to get you back on. I, I know we've been. You know, trying to get you on for a little while. We almost had you, and then there was a hiccup in in the scheduling. But um, just you know, continue to do what you're doing. Um, continue to to really play with boundaries and and expand. I I'm so impressed with what I've heard, and then to find out that you're 23 
um, just blows my mind. So, you know, I, you know, and next time you're on, we got to get into some comic book shit too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? I don't, you can start with that. Like I said, um, I appreciate it, man. I'm going a, I'm to a keep pushing this shit, how we going to do it. You know what I mean? I'm excited for y'all to hit a new project because I know y'all, I don't even think y'all going to expect this shit to sound how it's going to sound. And I'm, a, you know, I want to get back up here and definitely talk and get your opinions on everything and, and word, man. Definitely. Yeah. You're always welcome. Let's do this. Let's do let's do something a little bit different. I wanted to expand on this with Carl Pimo Jeff. Let's do like a little short video and we'll put it out during the week before your album come out. And we want okay. to yeah, yeah, and we'll just explain, talk about it a little bit. You want some juice? Here's some juice, yo. It's coming hey, out this go. month too, right? Yeah, yeah. Sometime yeah. like by the end of by the end of mid of this month. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we'll we'll get together. We're gonna either either get together with me, Carl, or all three of us, and we'll put a little video out. Explain it more to the people. Give them some more background and depth about this shit, yo. Yeah, maybe uh, we can do an IG live or something. And if post it sounds how I think it's gonna sound, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you, what direction you're going into. Yo, yeah. that's right up my alley, my dude. I, yo, I like exactly. I, I like the Portis heads and the Bjorks and the yes. influx of, of music. And uh, oh, you know Bjork you know. too. That so yeah, yeah you're, you're gonna Shout love. To Hus. Yeah, you know Husky yeah, Man did shit, the Bjork Hus album. I was, saying, I was better than the yep. Portis Hush album. So I like the Portis Hush here. album too. I don't, I don't, you know, that's my girlfriend, Portis Head. I know. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, anyway, I ain't gonna let, let her go. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. yeah, but boom, yeah. Come back on. Oh, we can do this little video. We chop it up on here. We can do Instagram Live or something. Yeah, but, okay. Bro, you got mad knowledge for whatever age. I don't give a fuck how old you are because you got a lot of motherfuckers 40 going on 14. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, and I punch mm-hmm. them in the face. You know, I get locked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a skinny nigga. I got beat up a lot of times. Like I said, about 40 fights I had in my life. I think I lost at least 27. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get murdered, though. You know what I'm saying? You still here. Yeah. You still here. Right? And I didn't fight that nigga yesterday. Oh, what was? But a job. End of, end of the month? New album, correct? Yep, yep, I got y'all. Um, yep. I'll, I'll probably shoot y'all a link before the shit even drop. And uh, yeah, y'all, y'all can have that. Okay. So y'all be looking out for that. Primo Jack Carl, we're going to wrap it up. I know we got to get out of here. And baby yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just glad we got to build with you at Definitely. the beginning. You know what I mean? I mean, it's it's always a pleasure to do that and, and explore uh, uh, truths and realities and all that. Try to find out the facts, man. Uh, once again, man, we got to keep using the word impressive, man, because what you're doing right now on the mic, uh, you rhyming with with serious determination to be ill. And I appreciate that. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. We're going to see you soon. Fear and loathing in loss. Uh, what is it? Long Island yep. coming soon. Who Who's that on there with you? It's just you and your guy on there. Yep. Just me and Javi Darko. Javi Darko. Darko. Shout out. Uh, uh, you know, Javi Darko. Darko. That's it. You know that is I, say, a, I say Yavi. You know, that, that who does your so, production yeah. most of all? I mean, real, real quick before we leave, who, who's um, your main producer? Is it you or what? A lot, yeah, a lot of times it's me, and then, you know, we'll go out, maybe find a producer, you know, build with him and ask him to do, you know, X, Y, and Z and shit like that. That's really how we get it done. All Absolutely. right, well, that's what's up. That's but you do the majority, though. Yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah, another that's reason right. why. That's what's up. That you ain't going to talk about. We'll save it for next time. The tools. No, See? Primo, uh, uh, Future Way used the Octo track. Other people used the SP and the uh, 404. Mm-hmm. All them mm-hmm. shits. I would like to know how people, oh, people just use programs. Uh, shout out to my man, Chuck Chan. Shout out to all those people out there that make these beats and have this soundscape. Yeah, boom. You're doing your Rock Marciano shit, but you be, yeah, you, you be mixing your shit, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, <Hell>, that's crazy. <laughs> he said you do. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Rock Marciano. Oh, yeah, we be talking dope. shit, man. We be talking, dope. we be plotting, man. Rock, Mar- Rock Marciano yeah. my favorite. Everybody know Rock is my favorite, yo. You know Rock is my favorite, right? Shot him in the ass. Pop. You know that, right? You're <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Pop. Whoa, whoa. Carl Pimo Jack, you got something else before we get off, get off here? Nah, man. Nah. Yeah, thanks for just, being here, Jack yeah, King. Thank you know, you. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Peace. Uh, yeah, stay tuned, and we'll see y'all next week. Issue wow. 94. Yeah, the issue 94, 94. baby. Issue 94, Peace. buddy, for war. You know what I'm saying? Be where, you ask me to rap, I'm punching you in the face. See y'all next week. <laughs> I have peace. <laughs> <laughs>